81. Okay, it's, it's, I think we're going to call it right there. About 18. Sounds a lot different automatically. You hear that? The engine. Yes, it does sound. Just a couple of leaps. It's already dropping dramatically. It kept climbing before we did the vacuum lines. Because I, I stopped it before it was what, 3,000. Yeah. And I, I just said, you know what, that's enough. Mm -hmm. So now it's down, the low end is down, oh, now it's down to 1,300. It's definitely a lot lower than it was before last Oh, that's, you're going into the 60% range there. It's just, it'll continue to drop for a few minutes, it just will. Mm -hmm. Now, they say that because you can't... Well, the catalytic converters also normally clog with all the carbons. So you have to get out of all the carbons also, and the catalytic converters are still cooking. So... Now it's down to the levels. Yeah, it's going down. The nitrogen's come up. Definitely. Mm -hmm. That's good. That means it's more efficient burn. Yeah, it is burning the oxygen. So look, we're right now, under a thousand of the hydrocarbons. So we're just letting it run, and the computer's learning as it's running. So explain what that's doing, Ron. Well, what, what the machine's doing, or what's happening in the engine right now? So what the machine's reading. Well, what the machine is reading is the uh, contents of parts per million, is, I mean, it's all in ratios. Either percentages or parts per million, it's all about the ratio of all the compounds together. Now, as, as the Desmond group begins to take its effect on the engine, the uh, computer starts relearning and retabulating its, its field delivery. And the, the most interesting figure uh, to me here is the uh, presence of hydrocarbons in the exhaust which is this top number here. It's now in the maximum of 650 range. Before, it was in the maximum of 31, 3200 range. So as the engine's running, what's happening is now the, the temperature's gone up and the Kelly converter, but burning off, instead of raw fuel, it's burning off the hydrocarbons that are built up in the Kelly converter. So that's, you know, I just saw this is dropping back down again. It was at 9, now it's at 7 and 6, okay? So this is showing that the temperature is dropping in the exhaust. 
as this, as this number drops, so does the temperature of the exhaust. Because oxides of nitrogen are created by two factors, temperature and heat. I mean, temperature and duration of burn. So the longer it's at a certain temperature, the more oxides of nitrogen are created. Now, next to this, we have the oxygen content. Now, that is supposed to be staying about the same. And so far, that's, that's what I'm saying. It varies a little bit. It's down a little bit lower than it was. It was like 47 before. Now it's at 40, 41, 42. Uh, the same thing happened with Dave's truck a little while ago. And the air-fuel ratio even indicated a little bit leaner of a mixture. Uh, but that was because the, the relative amount of oxygen to the hydrocarbons uh, here is the carbon dioxide. I don't remember what the numbers were before. Uh, this is this is down a little bit. The carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. I think they're both down a little bit. Uh, and if you look here, now this has gone down from uh, 40s down to the reading into the 30s too. Okay. So so that's that's a good sign that the engine is becoming more and more efficient. Now here we have the numbers on this was just down in the low 400s. It stayed there for a second. Mm -hmm. Until I looked at it. <laughs> Once I looked at it, it said, uh uh. You see, look, now the highs, the highs are looking to be around 580, whereas before, the, before they were at the highs of 3200s. Now, less hydrocarbons coming out of your tailpipe means only one thing a much more efficient car. We're down to 319 parts per million. Now, 119 parts per million on the hydrocarbons. You say, wow. Okay, from a uh, previous oh, high of 3,200. Yeah. Air truck and it's like, well, maybe it's, it's new yeah. cool for him, you know. So maybe there's something odd about it. Right, well, previous high 3,200, now the high is no, 200. Well, I mean, it was that drops, that's dropped the hydrocarbon emissions by, three, by geez, what, 95%? Yeah, reduction and it's still going down. Yeah. That's uh, like a 98 percent. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're saying it's burning off the stuff that was left in the catalytic converter. Right. That's part of right. what's going on. And the engine is learning; it doesn't need as much fuel, right. so it's right. reducing the pulse width time and time again. Now, the Not newer the vehicle, the larger the fuel trim table, right? And it varies from manufacturer. Oh, that's what we were going to get into fuel so, yeah, I don't know about the fuel trim table. So, so, so the fuel trim tables are, are telling the computer how much fuel to deliver based on the conditions that happen after combustion, like knock sensors and okay. things like that. Right. So I'm going to take from 3116 down to 3116. Yeah, yeah from 3116. I mean, it went from 3116 as a high, and that is a zero right now. Yeah, zoom in on all the other highs. The high right there is 12. O two. Oh, that's twelve eighty. Yes, we zeroed before we got started on. Right. Now it's one point five eight. The hydro, the CO two is a high of a thirty one thirty one. Now it's twenty six twenty seven. Nitrogen content was twelve, and now we're one two. That's oxygen. And the oxygen content used to be around 2090. Almost 21% oxygen content. And we're down to 0.41. Wow. Fuel rate mixture is still going up or leaning out. Right. Nitrogen. That's back. That's the vehicle for proof right there now. Yeah. Back to back. How many times did you do it? Yeah. Back to back. How many times did you do it? Yeah. So what do you say to that, Ron? Yeah. Sir? So what do you say to that? I said, get your groove on, boys and girls. Get me a groove. Technology. This is one way of proving it.